Well, hello, Internet. Well, I decided that I was going to cover databases with Python, and I decided to, for free, also cover SQLite 3 in this tutorial series. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install SQLite 3 on Mac OS. Okay, so this is going to be extremely easy. All you need to do is go to brew.sh, and then you're going to get this line of code right here. You're going to select it and copy it. Then what you're going to want to do is go into your Applications folder. I'm going to show you where the terminal is located, or you could just do a search for terminal and open it up. But let's just double click on Applications. Then we're going to come down here into Utilities and double click on that. And then you're going to find Terminal right here. So double click on that to open it. Then you're going to paste in that line of code that you had found over at the Homebrew website and hit Enter. You're going to see that Homebrew is going to update and a whole bunch of things are going to pop up on your screen. And then to test that you have SQLite 3 installed, you can just type in SQLite 3 and hit Enter. And you should see a command line pop up inside of there. You can just type in dot and quit to get out of that. And now we're going to go in and actually create a database and create a table to test that everything is working. So to create your database, just type in SQLite 3 with a space and then test DB. You're then going to enter in all of these lines of code. What this is doing is creating a table called employees with an ID number, which is a primary unique key that is going to be associated with your employees that you create, and then you're going to put in a name. Then what we're gonna do is type in insert into the employees table, ID and name, and then values, and then we're going to type in one for the ID, and then follow it up with the name. Then afterwards, you can have those IDs automatically created for you, and just type in name, and then whatever the name is that you would like to type in. You're then going to type in dot mode column dot headers on and then you're going to type in select everything that's what the star represents from employees and you should see this output now you know that you have sqlite 3 properly installed on mac os as well as everything is working great you can of course type in dot quit to get out of that and in upcoming videos, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about SQLite 3, as well as how to work with it using Python. So like always, please leave any questions or comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.